Hey guys, this is Josh Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams, and my goal is to keep you guys educated about all things real estate locally and nationally. So when it comes to your own home buying, selling, or investment goals, you all make a good decision. So today I'm going to give you the top five tips for sellers and then the top five tips for buyers on navigating the real estate uh, transaction amid a COVID-19 market. So we've seen the number of COVID cases double, then double again, and then again since early spring of 2020. We know that COVID is gonna to continue to be around and at a pretty high level, than, much higher level than we'd like to see it uh, for some months to come. So staying safe needs to be your number one priority and the priority for all of those around you. So let's start with the sellers. Tip number one, I just want you to ask your realtor to conduct a virtual listing presentation to walk through their strategy for getting your property sold during these uncertain times. Make sure to do this before your house goes up on the market. Number two, work with your realtor to create a virtual tour of your home. Make sure you get your home properly staged. Uh, the buyers are gonna be viewing your home in a two-dimensional online world, so staging is super important. This doesn't need, mean that you need to go and buy a bunch of new things. This just means that you probably need to organize what you have and pack away the excess. If you're selling a vacant home, ask your realtor about virtual staging strategies. So make sure that your realtor hires a professional photographer or videographer or both to shoot your home. They have the right equipment and they have the right expertise to help your home shine. Number three, let your realtor know if you or any family members experience any signs of illness while the property is being marketed. Number four, turn on all the lights, open all the doors before each showing. Sanitize all the surfaces that might be touched during a showing and then after the showing is complete. Our team personally would provide you guys with booties, gloves, masks, and a sanitizing station for each seller that we represent so that way when buyers are walking through they're properly gloved and they keep your home safe, but still open cupboards, turn on the lights, open the doors so people don't need to touch so many surfaces. Um, your, if your realtor hasn't done that, please go out and buy these easily accessible items, the sanita sanitizing stuff, the face masks, et cetera. Um, and then put a sign on your front door requesting that buyers, when they enter your home, would actually don these items and use that. And then tip number five, work with your realtor to navigate any f unforeseen changes or delays that come as are related to COVID-19. We've personally seen COVID-19 delay a lot of closings with new underwriting restrictions, overwhelmed underwriters, overwhelmed lenders. Um, and, and, and some of these new uh, restrictions weren't there before COVID. So be careful that seller and buyer negotiate a reasonable settlement in possession time so that no party is pushed into a corner and has moving trucks showing up before a settlement or a closing has actually occurred. It's super stressful. Um, so we've made this a completely virtual process to keep you safe. Um, so now let's move to the buyer side of the transaction. So tip number one, buyers make sure you start the process by viewing a home virtually on the computer on your smartphone device. You guys can ask your agent to go and actually view the property on your behalf while you're on FaceTime or Zoom so you can get real time tour while also being able to ask your agent questions in real time. Some homes will already have a completed video tour so definitely check for those links as well. Tip number two for buyers, limit your in-person showings. And most certainly don't go and see a property if you've been experiencing any signs of illness yourself or maybe in your household. Be sure that when you do visit a property that you'll wear a mask, bring your own latex gloves if you need to for touching services, and bring a sanitizer with you. With the Stern team, we'll have all of these present for you at any showing. Just ask if you haven't brought your own. And then number three, be sure that you have plenty of space, six feet between you and the agent or others that are in the home at all times. If you're attending an open house, be sure that there are not more than say two groups in that home before you enter. You can ask the realtor host to just text you when you're able to enter if you're uncertain. Number four, work with your agent and your lender to submit offers and follow up documents through secure digital signing systems. In Utah, you're legally allowed to sign your documents electronically using systems like DocuSign or DotLoop. No worries, if you don't have access to those, most realtors will be able to give you access to theirs. 
And number five, same as sellers, work with your realtor to navigate unexpected changes during the transaction. Be sure to work closely with a trusted lender to ensure that you're working within their time frames needed to close successfully. You guys, we get offers all the time where agents are filling in time frames that they have no clue what they're doing. The lenders aren't able to meet it and they're putting earnest money at risk. So be super careful about this. Communicate with your trusted lender. COVID has changed a lot of aspects of the lending process. That coupled with overwhelmed underwriters uh, in the local mortgage industry can mean delays. So be sure that you're setting reasonable expectations for settlement and reasonable expectations for closing. And then again, a reasonable expectation for both parties on taking possession of the property, especially if it's being occupied. By the seller. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you're interested in learning more about the Stern Team's safe selling system and then our Stern Team's virtual uh, buyer program, just give us a call, send us an email. We've made this a completely virtual process to keep you and your loved ones healthy and safe.